Hey, so this is my first video in my new place. Uh, I don't know how... There, there's a lot of feelings going on right now. Uh, so, uh, Futaba's story totally made me want to... I'm nervous about making noise in my new room, so I'm gonna sound a little weird. But eventually I will sound more, more confident than ever. Um, yeah, Futaba's story definitely made me, um, she didn't want to ever leave her house. And, uh, I liked her so much, I thought her room was so cool, I thought her life was so cool. And then they decided to tell me how sad she was, that, that was a, that was a big blow to the heart. So, what's Sojiro have to say? It's probably hot outside. Give me a break. Mm. You're still putting that cat in your bag? I'm surprised mm. he stays still in this. Yeah. Here the stocks are dropping due to that yeah. med jet or whatever. If you have free time, go work or something. Mm. There are plenty of jobs out there. Just because it's summer, don't go all white. Hey. Something happens. It's all over you here. Um... So I think I'm gonna just and make sure I have the DVDs for tonight when I'm too tired to go outside or whatever. And then, uh, so I called the the gang, the no, yeah, the literal gang, the Phantom Thieves, to my to Joker's room, and then I made them all leave. But the tables are still set up there. There's some from downstairs, and then I guess this is some uh, some junk. Alright, um, well let me see what Makoto's uh, special ability is, and then I will call for the next uh, step of the... Where's Empress? Yeah, the next step of the story. Um, have I just never bonded with Makoto? Alright, well, I guess I should do that. Um, never mind, okay? I made you think something, but I'm gonna actually do something else. Hey. Oh, have you decided on our plans for today? Yeah, let's hang out. <laughs> now? I guess if that's really what you want to do. Is this part of your grand strategy? That's exactly right. I see. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to take things a little slower. Yeah, I, uh, I really liked it when, uh, you got scared in that house. Um, Do you have a minute? It seems your studies have paid off. Have you been working hard? It seems I have enough n knowledge to invite Makoto out. This may be a good opportunity to deepen my bond with her. There's something I want to ask you. If it doesn't get in the way of your studies, that is. I can lend a mirror. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now then, let's find somewhere better to talk. The courtyard should do. We can go in through the back entrance. I'd like to talk to you about something. Do you have a moment? Up until now, I've been the quintessential honor student. I believe I've been handling my position as student council president with ease as well. She seems like she's 40 years old pretending to be a high school student. I don't mean that in a boasting way, that's simply how I've thought about it. But in the end, I was unable to make any kind of impact with either Suzui-san or Kanashiro. Um, I don't know why you would think that. Turns out there's no use for a rule-abiding honor student when things get rough. Now that I'm a member of this team, I want to do everything I can to help you all. All my studying up to this point has kept me quite narrow-minded. I think I will need to broaden my horizon somewhat. What do you plan on doing? My first step will be to learn more about the other students. But I struggle with that. There seems to be a disparity between my tastes and those of my peers. 
Yep, I get it. That's how I feel. You're totally right. I knew it. I don't even know where people like to go for fun. It would be nice to have a grasp of such concepts. Plus, the student council must be responsible for understanding the student body they serve, right? I don't mean that in a surveillance way. I just want to know them as people. Them. I may be a phantom thief. But that's no excuse for me to start ignoring my presidential duties. Now, back to the topic at hand. Where do people usually go for fun? The movie theater, karaoke, or the arcade? I'm inclined to say ar arcade because I work at one. Um. Uh, I often hear people talking about going to the arcade. To be perfectly honest, I've never been to one myself. She's so cute. <laughs> Do you think you could take me? I'm not sure if it'll broaden my horizons per se, but simply studying won't get me anywhere. It'll be a field trip. Thank goodness. I think I would have been totally lost in there had I gone by myself. And where? Where would you have been lost in? Well, let's get going. Why are you speaking in past tense? We haven't gone in there yet. Am I misunderstanding something? Like, that's... So, this is where everyone comes to enjoy themselves. There are more girls here than I expected. Yeah, um, at my arcade it's mostly female. Um, because... I don't know, I guess, uh... They're more guy gamers, home gamers or whatever, so a lot of young girls end up going to an arcade. I don't know. Play by aiming the gun at the screen, right? That actually seems somewhat realistic. Hmm. Want to try it? If it's okay with you. That's such a weird thing to... Do you think you could teach me? Um... Uh, Joker has not come in this into this arcade once in his life and played any games. Makoto's loud play is garnering quite a bit of attention. She seems to be too engrossed in the game to even notice, though. That, that was me playing uh, Resident Evil 7 in VR like five years ago. I wanted to survive, but everyone was okay with uh, coming back to life. Well, uh, what did you think? Of course, that was just a game. But I wonder if I could apply some of the techniques I learned here during battle. That might just work. Perhaps going somewhere I don't normally frequent is what helped me come up with that idea. You know, it may only be a little bit. I think I'm starting to understand how people pass time. Interesting. I would have never even thought about coming here before. Um, this was a new side to you. I... Hey, do you think you could help me out again later? Gosh, she's so cute. I might be able to give the team more ideas if I can gain increased knowledge outside of my studies. Uh, I don't know. We have Ryuji for that. I look forward to it. To your expectations now that I've taken up your time. Perhaps it won't be immediately, but I'm sure I can be of use. She seems like the kind of girl who would get who would be really difficult to get to like you, but um, Joker has somehow gotten past that threshold. I can sense a strong resolve from Makoto. That's what he does. There must have been people who obstructed your actions as the Phantom Thieves. What? You managed to overcome them because you had someone who specialized in analyzing enemies. That's not what Makoto does. Isn't that right? I am the child with the birth of the priestess persona. I Wait, she's the priestess? Blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. 
That doesn't make any sense. Allows you to see skills and potential item drops on the analysis screen. All right. I thought that the the tarot card, the fortune teller would would have been the priestess. By the way, you went to the red light district when you were chasing after Kanashiro, right? I don't like where this conversation's going, but yes, we did. I'd like to go there as well. No, no not for my own purposes. Tell you the truth. I recently got a report that one of our students was spotted there. That's a little sad, but I'm skeptical, but I'd like to confirm firsthand for myself. Well, yeah, so do I. Let's go home. Thank you. Thanks for setting aside some time for me today. It's always hard for me to come to places like this on my own, so you've been a big help. I've had all kinds of new experiences today, and it's even been a little fun. It's a new you. Was I really acting that different than usual? Maybe I got too into it. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to keep you. Careful on your way home. I'll call you later. All right, then. She has weird legs. She looks like uh okay. Man, it's hot. Ballerina. Remember our deal? You become my playing partner so that I can research new moves. I'd like to begin by teaching you the basics of Shoji. Would you like to play a match? I have no idea who this person is. They feel like a complete stranger to me. But yeah, let's do it. Start. Vanguard of my Togo Kingdom, go forth! Trample upon them all! You think, to protect yourself with that paltry defense? Haha, <laughs> useless. Awaken, dragon! Let your shadowy hellfire consume them all! Dark Inferno Rook! Can you hear them? At last, everything is in place. My right hand trembles as I release my full power. Check. I summon forth the forbidden move that shall bring your end. Ultimate Excalibur attack. She's so cool. I want to go with her. It's an embarrassing habit I have. During a match, I, um, I tend to get very aggressive. So it's if I assume Check. the role of a queen of a kingdom. I like the attitude change. Huh? My, I myself find it a bit well. My father had me do image training exercises when I was younger to help me learn the rules. I gradually began to view the shogi board as if it were my own kingdom. I had fun coming up with stories and strategies for my uh, subjects. However, I've heard that people make fun of me on the internet. People think I'm weird, or that I'm an otaku, or that I'm just crazy. I mean, I can't blame them. Certainly, I think I'm weird, too. Either have confidence in yourself, in yourself or don't worry about them. Uh, I think it's better to have confidence in yourself, because you can see yourself as valuable to other people. Positivity is a welcome relief. I may be able to learn more from our matches than I thought. So what's the next ability after I get to switch out my team yes. members? That will do for today. Oh, there's something I wanted to mention. You read Weekly Magazine? Um, well, I'm doing a photo shoot for one. All right. You're like an idol. Please don't tease me. I thought you'd be surprised if you saw it on the newsstand, so I wanted to let you know beforehand. In all honesty, I'm very reluctant to do it. But if I can draw more attention to Shogi, maybe the sport will become more popular. At least, that's how I'm justifying it to myself. She's, I like her, she's pretty. I have an interview scheduled for tonight as well, so let's end here, here for today. 
feel like playing Shogi with Ifumi has helped sharpen my knowledge. Look at this. Look at how mean I am. Yeah, I just wanted to take a photo of how heartless I am. Until next time. Oh, that's so nice having that vacation. Alright, so they're probably nagging me. Um, what are we doing today? Are we gonna go to the palace? Go check on uh, Takemi here. I don't think my bond with the Takemi will uh, deepen. Alright, so what does uh, Makoto teach us how to do? She's the, uh, the priestess for some reason? After experiencing the arcade to broaden her views, she wants to go to the Red Light District. Shujin Academy Student Council President. Casting off expectations of her, she joins the group. If a negotiation with a martial arts using shadow fails, you can try again. So she claims to be trained in Aikido, but she does kickboxing. She demonstrates kickboxing. Or uh, karate. I don't know if there's a significant difference to kickboxing and karate. And then uh, I wanted to see what it said about Hifumi. Yusuke's classmate, who strives to be a pro shogi player. She teaches you battle strategy through shogi. Although photo shoots have increased her popularity, she doesn't seem to enjoy it. Koma sabi Sabaki. Chance for a follow-up by a backup member if Joker downs an enemy? That's amazing. Well, I don't know. It's not really... So, uh, okay. Um, what I'm wanting to do is I want to check out if, uh... The Big Bang Burger will continue to uh, raise all my skills such a dumb amount. Yeah. This is my second time doing this. I want to see if it gives me three knowledge and to all my stats, <laughs> or three uh, three points. Thank you very much. The way you eat so impressive. Please come again. I knew you could do it. Oh my gosh. That wanna head back? Oh, it only increases my guts though. And guts isn't really that that good. It only lets you talk to the scariest people. So what's going on? I haven't heard of any new developments. Medjed hasn't taken any action either. Heard some company's private data got leaked or something. Did Medjed do that? Are the Phantom Thieves sitting on their hands? Do something! Man, it's hot. Another scorcher. Can't we catch a break? Hey, I heard some company's info got leaked. Yes, it seems the private dealings of a large corporation were publicly disclosed. It's caused quite the stir. People are wondering if Medjet is behind it. Do you think it was Medjet? I would think not. This seems quite to be just a minor thing, quite different from what Med Medjet has done up until now. Is that so? So it wasn't Medjet! That freaked me out! It's honestly kind of hard not having a knee-jerk reaction to this stuff these nowadays. Sometimes people react to these situations by pleading for help from the Phantom Thieves. We need to find a way to stand up for them. Hey, shouldn't you tell the fortune teller that you gave the abusive guy a change of heart? Yes, that's exactly what I was going to do. Info leak? Oh, yeah. 
All right, um, I'll go check on him. I would like to request your help again, but today's speech is a bit different from my others. However, your assistance would be the same. Are you up to this task? All right. Thank you. The truth is, there will be cameras there today. I'm not comfortable with that, but I couldn't decline. In any case, we just have to do what we've been doing. Well then, I'll be waiting at the stair at the square. Oh man, imagine if I didn't show up for his first day. The most important thing is getting cameras pointed at him. Acting not in self-interest, but for the greater good. I... That is the mindset we politicians politicians must instill in our constituents. Okay, all queued up. Okay, we should be able to get a lot of interesting footage. It is no good Torah, after all. Advocate an overly optimistic policy only to lure in voting voters during the election season? That's how no good Thor Torah thought and operated 20 years ago, making unachievable pledges. This isn't how I saw this going. If you keep make a promise, you must keep it. If you make a mistake, you must atone for it. These are basic human principles that we have all learned from the youngest of ages. Boring. He's making some pretty good points, don't you think? That's why it's all useless. <laughs> Seems like they only wanted to get some footage of the no old no good Torah. Very disrespectful. However, I've been distancing myself from that. Do you think I've regained my confidence? I think so. Well, I must have, if you think so. However, I will not forget the disgrace I suffered as no good Torah. Hey. Can I tell you a story? I mentioned this before, but 20 years ago, I was lucky enough to become a Diet member. However, I wanted to be a politician for all the wrong reasons. I wanted to be in a position of power, and I was obsessed with the glamorous lifestyle. I thought only of being popular. I truly was no good Torah. Learn from me. Don't let being a member of the Diet be your only goal in life. Voters are much more sensible than we give them credit for. Being ambitious and striving to advance in the political world will change your outlook on life. Yoshida eagerly gave me advice. I feel like my bond with Yoshida is growing deeper. Occasionally raises the chance of an enemy giving you a rare item. That is nice. All right. That is the m most useful thing we've gotten. You've given some good speeches, Mr. Yoshida. I can't believe you last the, lost the last two elections. Mm -hmm. y you're Mr. Kuramoto's grandson? That's correct. I'm his grandson, Benzi Benzo. Does he know that you're here speaking with me now? I'm aware that you and my grandfather are on bad terms, but that doesn't concern me. This must be your secretary, huh? I heard he's been helping you out a lot lately. What? You know about him? My grandfather was recently hospitalized, and you become the topic of our conversations. I'd like to talk with you again sometime. I learned a lot from your speech today. Mm. Mr. Kuramoto spoke of me? Matsushita? Sorry, I have to take care of some business. Let's wrap this up for today. I feel like listening to Yoshida's speech has served to increase my charm. Good job. <sighs> uh, who could that be at this hour? Yep, we'll hang out tomorrow. I'll be intruding on you tomorrow. Your house manages to be cool despite this heat. There's a book I want to read, and should something happen, I would be ready in case we must assemble. If it works with your schedule, we could hang out. Don't worry if you already have plans. I'll be stopping by either way. Until then, good day. Yusuke is coming here tomorrow, huh? He's definitely making the most of his summer vacation. Uh, I'm going to bed. Hey. Hey, one of your friends is here to visit. Sounds like Yusuke is here. Come on, let's go downstairs. What you up to? What are you doing right now? Ain't we going to the palace today? I'm at the arcade in Shibuya. Let me know if anything comes up. Yo. Hi. 
I have been waiting here for you. Oh, and I brought an art book I would like to read with you. This guy does not pay any attention to my interests, but whatever. If we are not planning to infiltrate today, why don't we search for ideas between the pages of this book? Yep, let's do it. <laughs> Perfect. I knew you would agree. In that case, I will head to your room. This guy is, is so creepy. I feel as though I can melt. Phew, the weather is getting rather warm these days. Now is the season to enjoy shaved ice. You should buy an air conditioner. If you do, I promise to visit, come visit you here every day. Buy, your, buy one yourself? Just take your clothes off, or just go to the library. This is the one all the girls pick, but, um, just go to the library. I see. Hmm, I see. He liked that. I didn't think of that. Yes, I could go there to escape the heat and peruse some art books. I read art books with Yusuke in the blistering heat. I mean, how, how different is that from reading uh, manga with Yuji? The heat-induced delirium made me think outside the box. Jeez! Why does it make my charm go up? Ah, look at the time. To have come all this way only to depart fills me with profound sorrow. I don't suppose you have plans after this. Yeah, want some coffee? My apologies. You mean it? Thank you. I am in your debt. Leblanc takes great pride in its coffee beans. That much is clear in every sip. I should let Sojiro know. You look magnificent, but I believe anyone can look competent with the correct attire. You don't like my awesome clothes that I get out of fashion magazines? Yusuke's gaze is intense. He seems to have high expectations. Do it exactly as I was taught, or put some love into it. Yeah, he wants it to be a little weird. Indeed. Ah, what a lovely aroma. He wants it to be artistic. What is this? I've never tasted coffee like this. An idea has on no, I'm sure this is the flavor of real coffee. My tastes just aren't refined enough yet. <laughs> we drank coffee and enjoyed a leisurely conversation. Let us part ways here. Hmm. Time has truly flown by. I should be going home. This right there. What are the Phantom Thieves doing? Uh, reading manga. Are you still not done? I thought I told you I'm not a patient person. No kidding. You told us you would wait. This is going against your word. That doesn't matter. Do you think I won't report you to the police? No, I believe you. You'd better not be taking me lightly with all the evidence I have against you guys. Okay, she's really cute, but she's really annoying. She's like, uh... Hmm? You have evidence? Don't underestimate me. Leaking your chat logs to the police would be quite simple. D dude, don't. Please don't misunderstand. We really do want your help. As such, we will do whatever it takes to fulfill our promise. Please believe us in that respect. We just need a little more time. She doesn't seem to understand our circumstances. This might be a problem. She, uh, texts the three dots into her, her text. I do that. But it's interesting that she chooses to. What are you doing today? I just finished up some student council work. I have some things to take care of, and I'll be in the school's vicinity. Let me know if you need anything. Seems like Makoto's at school. Want to see her for a bit? Yep. Alright. I'll be in front of the school entrance. 
Huh? They're the ones inviting me. Hey. Have you decided on our plans for today? Yeah, let's hang out. <laughs> now? I see. Um, about our trip to the red light district, do you have time today? Yeah, I'm actually going there tonight to talk to the fortune teller. Take the train there. Well, I'm gonna walk around. Let me know when you're ready to leave. She's gonna go in the Odin's house. There's so many people here. I guess this really is the biggest red light district in Asia, huh? Apparently, this place was a hotbed for criminals and illegal immigrants before they installed. <laughs> a hotbed for illegal immigrants before they installed sur surveillance cameras. I heard there were quite a few brothels as well. You're very well informed. Yes. Well, I heard a great deal about it from my father. This is the first time I've actually been here myself, though. Regardless, it's become far safer now than it used to be. Of course, the surveillance cameras played a substantial role in that. But it was mainly thanks to the police efforts to clean up the area. What? Even so, there's no way to eradicate crime entirely. Uh, yeah, these these people, they don't give you the things that you expect them to, they, uh, they'll pro from what I've read, they will, um, lead you somewhere, and then a bunch of people will, like, beat you up, steal all your money, and blackmail you. Seems the operation nowadays are only better hidden. Anyways, seeing is believing, yes? Come on, let's have a look around. At Makoto's request, we walked separately through Shinjuku. Countless men tried to start conversations with her. <sighs> Did we lose him? That guy was so persistent. Oh my. He must have been a scout for a hostess club. He mentioned how his girls get paid a lot to wear cute dresses. All I wanted was to ask if any Shujin students worked there, but he nearly dragged me inside with him. If you haven't, hadn't been there to rescue me, I... Yeah, that was dangerous. Yes. For him, maybe. I thought I was gonna have to knock him out. That, that's not your style. I'm glad nobody had to get hurt, though. I guess that's something they... That's how they do it. I've learned something new today. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, and thanks again. Seems you have a knack for helping me out. Hope I can do the same for you someday. I can sense a quiet resolve from the photo. That aside, even though this is a shopping district, there are absolutely no students around here. Definitely no Shujin students, though I guess they wouldn't have come in uniform either way. Well then. Hmm? <gasps> that was... Did you notice this? I used to be in the same class as her, but why is she here? The after-school salon? What kind of a place is that? Hmm. I'm not sure, but it seems suspicious. I'll have to ask her about it. Oh, and I'd like you to be there too as my witness. Would that be okay? Well, we've spent quite a bit of time here. Let's head back to the station. All right then. Thank you for today. Hey, um, I wanted to thank you again for tagging along today. That was the first time I've ever been to, to deal with a, ever had to deal with a barker. I didn't know they could be that persistent. Today was exhausting, but I also learned a lot. I guess nothing beats practical experience. Couldn't agree more. Honestly, I realized I can't solve these problems on my own. It took what happened today to make that clear. I also plan on looking into that Shujin student we saw there. It'd be great if you could help help me with that sometime. For now, see you later. Ah, you're back. Hey, hey! Hey, 
you've got some sooty armor. How about you wash that over at the laundromat? I think the second-hand clothes store in Kichijoji will take them too, but we'd better do something with them. No, I don't want to... Alright, so where was I going? Where was I going? Alright. Back to where, um... Well, did her face fate change? Fine. Please sit down. Goodness gracious! Her boyfriend stopped abusing her? I don't believe it. But even if he did stop, her fate should still be heading down the path to misery without changing. I mean, look! Hearts can be changed. No, no, no! This must be some sort of trick. What are you, a scam artist? You made a deal with her boyfriend or something, didn't you? Um, uh, I've persuaded him. That's an obvious lie! It couldn't have been that simple. Did you plunge him into Tokyo Bay? Or cram him into a metal drum and dump insects on him? What? That sounds cool. You must have taken some sort of extreme measures. Um, uh, I'm just an ordinary high school student. Well, you certainly do seem ordinary. Yes, quite ordinary indeed. But there's no way that could have happened without you breaking the law. Yeah, that's up to debate. I mean, how could an ordinary high school student change the course of fate? Fine. Maybe you need to have a little more faith in people. I'm just going to have to verify your power. The very power that reversed my tarot card prediction. This is quite a serious situation for a fortune teller like me. I need to get to the bottom of this. You won't have to do anything. Just sit next to me while I tell fortunes. And if another unopposable fate happens to appear, then I'll test your power. I get nothing out of this. I want her to get to know me better and then make more accurate because otherwise I won't be able to go on. Please, I beg you. I need to know if they truly can be changed. Alright, I guess. You will? Really? Okay then. I look forward to verifying your skills. Please don't blow me off, okay? We made a deal after all. I made a deal with Jihaya. You must have been able to predict it the exact future. That's the only possible way. Unless you were lucky, there's no way you could have repeatedly done so many crimes. Or perhaps you had someone you consulted who gave you precise advice. <laughs> <laughs> She's so imaginative. <laughs> You're not getting away this time with just luck. I am. It shall become the wings of Rebecca, the birth of the fortune persona. I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. It cost a fortune to get this one. Temporarily increases the growth rate of a selected social stat. I needed that a long time ago, but you had to... But you can only get it late game. All right. Is fate really something that can be changed? If it's really possible, then... Hmm... 
late. Let's close up shop for today. It's past your curfew. Um. Phew, huh. I forgot to get your contact info. Shouldn't you know it already? Phew, there we go. I'll be contacting you soon, so please come home for the ver verification test, okay? I suggest you don't try to get out of it, or else who knows what kind of black magic I'll have to resort to. I'll be there. Great, now our deal's official. Sorry for taking up so much of your time. Please be careful on your way home. I'll see you soon. I'm gonna be on standby at the hideout. I'll bring over a DVD that's perfect for this stinking hot summer. We can watch in your room, yeah? Oh, don't worry about me if you get stuff to do. I keep myself busy. That settles it. See you tomorrow. He, uh... Sounds like he's he really wants to hang out. He's bringing DVDs. Hey, one of your friends is here to visit. What? It was just the a heat wave and now it's torrential rain? Sounds like Ryuji's here. Come on, let's go downstairs. Do you have plans today? Uh, yes, I actually do. Um, yo. yo, I brought the DVDs I was talking to you about the other day. First up is this soccer one. Then we got a baseball here. Oh, and a track and field one. May be able to improve my charm if I watch DVDs. Furthermore, this may be a good chance to deepen my bond. Yep, sounds good. Sweet, I brought some snacks too. Oh yeah, bring on the private showing. <laughs> Did you see that through pass? Other countries have tons of people who can play this good, right? Man, foreigners are insane. You know, I didn't used to be too into soccer, but I sat down and watched a match one day, and now I'm hooked. How about you? What do you like more, soccer or baseball? I hate baseball. It, it's one of the only sports where innocent property and bystanders get hurt. Oh, for real? Do you know a lot about it? Like any good matches coming up, or how about some young talent rising up in the ranks? I don't know where to start with this. There's too many good teams. Ryuji and I watch some sports together. Seeing the burning intensity in the faces of the athletes has refined my charm. That doesn't make sense. Shouldn't that make my guts go up? <laughs> Man, that was great. Makes me feel like going for a run. Too bad the weather's terrible. Since I bothered to come out here, it might be cool to hang in a little longer. Hey, do you have time after this? I don't want to ask him to go to the bathhouse. That's... Although it'd be a great day for it, because it's raining so hard. But, uh... I don't know, you want... Yeah, I got other plans. Oh, come on. For real? What a bummer. Well, I did ask pretty last minute. Guess I'll see you around. Probably. Well, thanks for walking me to the station. Later, man. Rain, huh? Just a few degrees cooler would do it. But it's raining. Are you free today? We can play a match right now if you'd like. I'll instruct you while we play. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, um... Uh, what's her name? Sakura? Yeah, but, uh, people just keep inviting me to hang out. Um, sorry about your, your mental problems or whatever. Thank you for shaking my hand. I'm never gonna wash it. Huh? Huh? Um, please wash it. I can't believe that you're really here in a church. I read on the internet that you pray for victory. Is that true? No. Can I take a selfie with you and post it online? Sorry, I've been turning all, down all such requests. By the way, is it true that you're trying to become a f professional shogi player? Well, nothing's been... I'll be cheering for you to qualify. 
You'd be the first woman to surpass the third Dawn League. I really believe in you. Thank you very much. I know what third Dawn is from Tekken. Oh, good evening. Men like that approach me all the time. First, I thought you were one of them. I really must apologize for being rude to you. Um... Bothers me when people make such a big fuss over me, considering that the priest is doing me a great f favor by letting me play here. You see, he's my shogi friend. And he's very kind. He once told me that he wanted to be a professional shogi player, and he doesn't laugh at my embarrassing habit when we play together. So, I did the photo shoot. I'm embarrassed just thinking about it. Did you see it? It was called The Venus of Shogi. It's quite the headline. It certainly is. Um, it's not really an excuse, but the editorial staff came up with that title on their own. Ever since I won the Female Shogi League, I've been getting a lot of attention. Just figured I would contribute to the Shogi world. Besides, my mother seems to be very happy. Whenever I win, she rejoices if it were her own victory. So I want to live up to the expectations she has for me. However, she's been a bit overzealous lately. She set up the interview and photo shoot. It's as if she wants to be the manager of a celebrity. You should just decline. I... I can't. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I should be teaching you how to play instead of talking about my mother. Today I'll be showing you something very practical. It's a tactic for using the reserve pawns you've taken from your opponent in a more effective way. Nevertheless, I apologize. You're such a good listener. I feel at ease speaking actually, with you. Aside from the priest, you're actually the first person I've spoken to about my mother. Feel the Fumi's trust in me growing. No, I would legit hang out with this person. Like, I, I talked about liking the other ones, but I legit. Now then, I will uh, instruct you while we play. Are you ready? I feel like playing Shogi with the Fumi has helped sharpen my knowledge by one point. Until next time. Well, I look forward to our next match. Ah, this is Hifumi. I appreciate you spending time with me today. Um, I ended up feeling much better after sharing my concerns with you, but this hardly seems fair. How can I teach you properly when I'm this distressed? This is part of our deal, too. Yeah, I... is it? I'm not quite sure I understand. But if that is the case, I can only hope to repay you through my lessons. You make for a refreshing opponent. Somehow, the more we exchange, the more I feel my world expanding. Teaching you is also a great learning experience for me, as it leads to a deeper understanding of myself. Well then, if you'll excuse me, I'll see you for our next match. Ah, who's inviting me to hang out next? I'm going to your place tomorrow. I will be on standby at the hideout. There's a book I want to read, and the dorm's so hot that I can't stand it. How about joining? Don't worry if you already have plans. I will be stopping by either way. See you tomorrow. This guy's coming over tomorrow, huh? That's, Betty just wants to cool off. Oh well, I'm going to bed. I'm happy to be in this room. There's 17 days left before Medjed's deadline. Don't slack off just because it's summer, okay? Hey! hey. One of your friends is here to visit. Sounds like you stays here. Come on, let's go downstairs. Hello, Senpai. Do you have some free time today? Whatever is convenient for you is fine, but I'm waiting in Kichijoji. What's the plan? Are you going to see Yoshizawa? Okay. Wait, I need to check my other. Well, we can start during the day since you're a student. We can't do it when it rains, though, since... We'll be outside. Come during the day for your fortune, and at night for the test. Thank you. I'll be waiting in front of the Kichijoji station then. Hello. It's 
it's really sunny today, so be sure to stay hydrated. If you have time, would you like to do some stretches with me? I legit see this character as his wife. Um, I have not had any part of this game spoiled by me, but uh... Hello. Oh, our bond won't deepen. What do we even learn? fix that very easily, so I'm just gonna say this is a good stopping point. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that.